Welcome to Spirit Knox for Brooklyn Mosaic. So today I'm going to talk about um, meditation. And when I tell you this is a topic that we really can't seem to get enough of, when I started this journey, I thought that meditation um, was simply, you know, this thing about like settling your mind. I've grown to find out that meditation is so much more and it just keeps going. It's the gift that keeps giving, right? So what I find interesting is that starting out initially, it was trying to get my mind to settle. I was able to get my mind to settle. And then it became, um, now I'm seeing colors, right? Okay, so I got the time down. I'm able to sit into my meditation a little longer. Now I'm seeing some results, the colors. So from the colors, I saw one color, purple. The next time I went deeper into my meditation, I saw purple, I saw blue. And as that progressed, more colors. Of course, I started looking up the colors because what do they mean, right? And then I realized this is what people talk about with the chakras. The chakras were synonymous with the colors. So when you're dealing with the crown, you have blue, you know, you're dealing with third eye, you're dealing with purple, the throat is a light blue, and so on. Like the heart is green, then we're talking red for the solar plexus, the sacral is orange, you know, yellow for the root. And y'all can check the colors, right? But these are the colors that start to come through in your meditation. So I'm thinking, oh, I made it. I got all the colors down. You know, this is like a psychedelic thing, like a natural high. I'm loving this. Like now I'm meditating three, four times a day, right? Then I realized that's not it, right? After the colors, I'm starting to see images now, like visions of things are coming through. And I don't know that this is for everyone, but I'm telling you what is possible, right? So you have to kind of tailor your practice to how you want to progress with your meditation. This was something I didn't plan. Um, it happened really quickly. It's still happening. So, okay, now I'm getting visions and it's showing me stuff. Like I'm seeing cities and I'm seeing, you know, me like at a, in a window seat. I don't know if it's a plane, a bus, a train. So now these visions are starting to seem more like premonitions. Okay. Okay. So now in my, in my visions, not only am I seeing that, but I start to see, you know, galaxies and planets. And so now I'm like, am I traveling? Like what, what's going on? Right. With these visions. Then I start to get visitors. Yeah. So I'm meditating one day and I do this thing where I kind of, you know, like flutter my eyes and I'm able to see something in between. And so I see like dark matter. I hear the sound first. It's like a pixelating sound, like, like a clicking sound and everything comes together. And I see forms in front of me, like three people standing two people standing and looking over me. So no facial things, but definitely the, the silhouette of beings, right? So all I can think is these are my spirit guides. These are my ancestors. Um, I wasn't scared. Uh, they come in black. So it's like black pixels, black dots. If you look back at my video about dark matter, you'll get to see what I see when I'm coming out of those meditations. Um, so then that leads to a whole nother thing, right? Because, you know, you start to ask questions and you want to understand what you're seeing. So thus far, that's where I am with my meditations. The last thing is when I mentioned in traveling, I do believe I'm traveling during my meditation because... I was meditating and I felt like an involuntary jump in my legs, right? And I realized in that moment in my meditation, I was going down a flight of steps. 
and I missed the last step and I felt it in my meditation and that's what broke my meditation. So that's how you know if you're traveling when you have these involuntary things like you're jumping or something happened, right? You've probably had that happen to you during a dream. So um, it, it's deep, like it's really deep. It's a deep experience. I've even heard, I forgot about this, I've heard my name called twice. One was a woman's voice and the other one was a man's voice and it was really, really low, really low. Um, so these are things that you can expect to hear your name called, to hear knocking. You know, I told you all about the knocking. I've heard knocking where I jumped up again thinking it's my door because that usually only happens when I'm sleeping, but it can happen in your meditation as well. Um, and then I think at one point, I feel like I got to a door that I wasn't able to open. So there was some blockage in the meditation. So I'm working on figuring out what that is and, and meditating on, um, you know, getting aligned, right? You know that the colors represent the alignment in your chakras, but you start to dig deeper into those things as well. Um, and it's just so many levels to it. But I wanted to share with you all because um, these are things I did not expect. I don't know if it's something anyone could have told me about if they haven't experienced it. I don't know how many people have experienced it. But please feel free to write in um, the chat if this is something you've experienced. But um, this is the experience that I've had with my meditation thus far. Um, I also like to meditate um, like in a fairly dark room, quiet, like I close all the doors to the room, you know, the bathroom door, the front door. I don't want the wind to blow the door and interrupt me. I try to make sure I'm very comfortable during my meditation. Um, and I will talk to you all <clears throat> more about uh, positions that might assist you with your meditation as well. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for joining me for Spirit Knox for Brooklyn Mosaic. Blessings.